Gribbak normal form. A context free grammar is said to be in Gribbak normal form if all its production are of the form a single non terminal tending to a terminal followed by zero or more non terminals. So if you have S goes to A, it is in Gribbak normal form. If, it, if you have S goes to A1, A2, A3, etc., A1, all of or examples of Gribbak normal form, a single non-terminal tending to a terminal followed by zero or more non-terminals so now this is in Gribbak normal form now how to convert a given grammar to Gribbak normal form first we have to simplify the grammar and convert into contact Skomsky normal form we have to check whether our given grammar is in Skomsky normal form then you have to rename all the terminals starting from a1 a2 an now next is we need to modify the production such that ai tending to aj means this i should be less than j. What I mean by saying this is the left hand side subscript in the production should be less than or equal to the right hand side subscript in the production. Okay. Now fourth rule says that we need to identify once you do all modifications as in step 3 we need to identify production of the form a goes to a alpha or beta and then you have to rewrite the productions of a goes to a alpha to beta as a goes to beta i a goes to beta i x x goes to alpha j and x goes to alpha j x this i will make it clear once we solve the problem now if you are going to repeat step 3 and 4 by substitution and all you we will have our context free grammar converted to Gribbak normal form. Now we will take one example and try to convert this into Gribbak normal form. See already this grammar is in Skomsky normal form without any unit production, lambda production and useless symbol. So we can directly start with step 2. Step 2 is rename all the non terminals starting from a1, a2 etc up to an. Here the set of non-terminals we have is S and A. Now we are going to rename this S with A1 and A with A2. So accordingly you, we have to rewrite the set of production as A1 goes to A2, A2 or B. And A2 tends to A1, A1. I am sorry here A right. A1, A1 a1 tends to a2 a2 or a a2 tends to a1 a1 or b so this is after step 3 now step 2 we are renaming the non terminals and accordingly we were rewriting the set of productions next is we need to modify step number 3 is we need to modify such that all the left hand side subscript is less than or equal to right hand side subscript so here one is less than two okay this is fine this this production is fine satisfying step three now look into here a2 two is greater than one in that case you have to modify and you have to make this to come true this we have to arrange the production in such a manner that your left hand side production is less than or equal to right hand side production okay now how to rewrite this you replace the value of a1 um, non-terminal with the corresponding right hand side production so there is no change in a1 so you rewrite as a2 a2 a because it is satisfying step 3 now for A2, instead of this A1, we have two production. One production is this one, second production is this one. So we can use two production. You have to copy this A1. Okay, fine. First production is over. Second production, you have another production for A1, which is A. A, A1 or whatever is remaining production for A2, you copy. Now, this satisfies step Three. step 3 is complete because all the left hand side subscript is less than or equal to the right hand side subscript next is we need to identify a production that satisfies this rule it should start with the a here also it should start with the a 
so here we have only two production a1 here a2 it is not satisfying production in step 4 but look into here this is a2 and this is a2 so we will take this one a2 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 a1 and a2 tends to a a1 or b so this is in format of a tends to a alpha a alpha j and here it is beta i so this is in format of this one so here this is going to be your a so this is going to be your a and this is going to be your alpha j no i'm sorry i'm writing it for uh, first one i'm sorry i'm sorry okay so this is going to be your a and this is going to be your alpha j the rest of the terms is going to be your beta i now if you have a production of the form a goes to a alpha j or beta i how we we have to replace you have to replace with a goes to beta i a goes to beta i x again x goes to alpha j x goes to alpha j x so how are we going to replace this a goes to a2 a2 a1 or a a1 or b so this is going to be a alpha j and this is going to be beta for us beta i for us so how can we change this a2 tends to a a1 or b okay so this is the equivalent a2 tends to a a1 or b again a2 tends to a a1 x or this is small b right b x so this is equivalent to this one we are changing again x tends to what is alpha j a2 a1 is alpha j and what is alpha j x a1 x so we are identifying a production of the form a goes to a alpha j or beta in the given set of two production after step two so we are taking the second production so second production is having this one where the first production is of the form a alpha j and the second production is of the form beta i so we are rewriting in this manner this is what is given in rule number four to rewrite the given production as the set of four production so we have done it here see here after doing it we can identify now a2 is all changed to Grebach normal form a2 is all changed to Grebach normal form now we can substitute the production so i'll take we can we can replace this a2 in a1 because a1 is also starting with a2 again we can replace this a2 in x also in x if we do this then we'll be getting the answer so what is the answer for a1 it is a2 a2 or a i'm writing down the previous answer now our a2 is in Grebach normal form a1 b a2 is equal to a a1 x or bx you have pro two productions for x and your x is having a2 a1 or a2 a1 x now we need to replace this a2 in a1 and x so how can we replace so it is a a1 a2 okay i am replacing this a2 now again this b i can replace so b a2 or a these two productions these two productions i have copied here and i have generated a1 production 
now a1 i can copy this also second a2 also so how can i copy a1 x a2 or b x a2 or a is already here so no need to include this one okay this a no need to this production i can rewrite and write okay now a2 i have all the productions i am going to write it in single line bx now what about x2 whatever i have for a2 i have to copy here so a2 is having two production for the first a2 i'll be copying 1 2 3 4 production and for second a2 i'll be copying four production so i'll be arriving at eight productions for a2 so a1 a1 or b a1 or a a1 x a1 or bx fine again x2 is equal to a a1 a1 x or b a1 x or a a1 x a1 again x or b x a1 x so now all this set of productions are now in Gribach normal form so what have we done here so initially we have verified whether the given grammar is in skomsky normal form then we started converting the terminals into non i'm sorry renaming the non terminals with a1 and then we modified the production such that the left hand side subscript is less than or equal to the right hand side subscript once we do then we will be able to identify a production of the form a goes to a alpha 1 or beta 1 so in that case we can convert that into the given set of production if we do so our a will be in gribach normal form then a2 so we did the same and a2 was in gribach normal form we copied a2 production in a1 and x and in x so this is what our previous production a2 is in gribach normal form and then we copied a2 productions to a1 and a2 productions we have rewrite rewritten here and for this is not x2 this is x i'm sorry so x production we have rewritten here so this is the end of gribach normal form you try and solve some more gribach normal form to have a better clarity you try this problem try s goes to a b or b c a goes to a b or b a or a b goes to b b or c c or a and c goes to small c this problem you try and try to solve it 